Hey loves, it's Elle and welcome back to my channel and happy Foundation Friday. Today I have another amazing foundation that is definitely a must to try. So before we get started, hit that subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. All right, so today we are talking about a brand that is new to me, but I have been obsessed with this foundation. I told you last week, Foundation Friday, that I have, was obsessed with that one and then another one, and this is what it is. It is the Range Beauty True Intention Hydrating Foundation. You guys, okay, so I'm first show you how I prep the skin first, and then I'm gonna tell you about it so it can sink in. So this foundation is a black owned, woman owned business. And so I'm happy to support that as well as just really great product. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with my Josie Moran SPF. Now this foundation does have a few mattifying properties to it. So as always, I have tried this foundation and many others obviously in many different ways to make sure that I was, you know, prepping the skin to the best ability I could to make sure that the wear of the foundation is on point. So I have prepped with all of my normal skincare. If you have any questions about prepping your skin, um, the right way to prep your skin for flawless foundation application, please scroll down below. I just did a video on it. It'll really help you um, get the best wearability out of your foundation. Okay, so when I put SPF on, I let it sit for a few minutes. Um, the reason why I picked this SPF is because it's a little bit illuminating and since this foundation does have a few mattifying properties to it, I find that this for my skin type, since I am dry to normal, um, this is just how it sits best on my skin. Um, I will go in with just a touch of primer. I'm gonna go in with the Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas. Go in with your favorite. I do not use this all over my skin. I'm just going to push this into my skin in the middle of the face. This foundation does not need a primer if you do not want to use one. Um, I have worn it without it and with it, and it is beautiful both ways. But this foundation does not claim to be super long wearing. So as obviously with a primer, I find that it has more wearability, longer time wearing it, okay? So we're gonna let that sit in just for a few minutes because you do not wanna go right into your foundation until this is all kind of just sunken in. I am in color Villa, and this is actually a really good match for me. They do have a beautiful shade range. Um, it is an indie brand, so I'm sure they'll be expanding upon this as time goes on. But of course, since they are a black owned business, their shades for medium to deeper skin tones are gorgeous. Beautiful undertones, really, really nice. All right. The one other thing I want to tell you about is that they also have their powder, and we're going to be using it today. Um, it's called the Smooth Out Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm in light. I have tried this powder underneath my foundation, and then you put foundation over it. So if you are oily or skin type, or if you are combination, apply the powder first, and then put your foundation over it, it's gonna be a dream for you. So FYI, I've tried it both ways as they have recommended. This foundation is only $21, um, and this obviously is a cruelty-free brand. It has aloe, I have their little thing here, aloe, uh, French clay, which is the oil-absorbing property in the foundation, it has vitamins A, C, and E, minerals, uh, botanicals, antioxidants, um, and then it never, none of their products ever have talc, sulfates, parabens, phthalates, synthetic dyes, and synthetic fragrances. So I love that. Also, what I love is that I cannot find any dimethicone in the ingredient list, so thumbs up for that. All right, so how I like to apply this first is with my hands. So they even say on the website that you want to apply with your hands for a sheerer coverage and then you can build up with a brush or a sponge for a more medium coverage. This foundation is not supposed to be a mask. This foundation is supposed to be skin-like. It is supposed to be um, lightweight on the skin. It is supposed to look like skin and it can be worn in all fashions, as I've said. So it can be worn almost like a tinted moisturizer. Look how gorgeous this is, you guys. So this is what I've been doing in the mornings when I just kind of want to run out and have just a lightweight something on so I don't look so um, uneven. But look, okay, I'm gonna scoot you in. Look how pretty it is. Isn't it gorgeous? 
So then what I do just to have a little bit more coverage in certain areas because this is just such easy coverage and it looks makes the skin look flawless but as you know me I like to have just a touch more coverage in certain areas I actually take a dry sponge um, you of course can use a um, you know a damp sponge but for me with this foundation I like it with a uh, dry sponge this is the real technique sponge now again this is not going to be a mask foundation so you are going to still see a few imperfections around the face which never bother me um, this foundation is really really quick to apply as you have just seen and then i'll apply just a little bit more on the nose all right so that's what it is i just kind of go over the face with this sponge and there's nothing on my sponge anymore but i just kind of press the foundation into the skin all right so the foundation feels extremely lightweight i cannot feel it on the skin um, it is not super super tacky but it is feels hydrating ish if I guess I could say it definitely has a skin like finish to it um, I will powder it with their powder only reason again because I want a little bit more wearability for this foundation all right so before I powder it I'll just go in real close so you guys can see um, the concealer I just used was Juvia's Place you know talked about that forever okay so I'll take a big brush with this powder tap it in the cap and I will just set very very lightly you can of course use your hourglass powder if you are extremely um, dry as I will do under my eyes not because they're dry but just because that's my favorite way um, I have used this under the eyes and it is it's pretty I just find for my eyes I like to wear something a little bit more reflective but you can do as you see fit all right so we are all set again it feels weightless on the skin I think it's really perfected the skin of course we will go into natural light and so I will show you in 4k on my phone so bear with me all right so everything is on I just did the rest of my makeup um, how I like to finish this foundation off is I like to take a rehydrating spray pick your favorite this one is just the wander mist connection essence and toner um, I just kind of do this okay and just so the powder kind of melts into the skin and gives the glow back to the skin um, I do want to tell you that they actually will do foundation samples So I actually got two samples of two different shades because I thought this one might be too dark But it's it's a perfect match for me. So just FYI you can get samples as well um, So yeah, so here we are. So let's go into natural light so you can see everything Oh real quick if you're wondering I have the beauty bakery proof is in the putting putting <laughs> putting eyeshadow on um, it's this beautiful um, palette that I have been obsessed with and wearing every single day so just have wear okay let's go all right so here we are in natural light it is a little bit overcast today which actually works in our favor but I'll just show you kind of what it looks like isn't it pretty yes you know what this is to me it's very similar to the hello happy the original foundation by benefit and i've been trying to find a cruelty free dupe for that it is very very similar that one's just a touch more matte but if you like that foundation this one might be look uh worth looking into um but yes yeah, so here is the foundation again there's no claims that it's super super long wearing um but we are going to give it a normal wear test and we'll see how long it holds up and i'll see you guys in a little bit bye all right so we are at a total of four hours of wear and it looks pretty darn good it's um you know it's coming off around the nose as most do for me just a, ta a tad bit and of course i like how kind of glowy and dewy it's getting and of course that can be manipulated by the way that you prep your skin um and again watch that video if you need help with that but so the finish can be um you know changed upon how you uh start your skin prep but overall looks really fantastic um i've been talking on the phone quite a bit it's not come off of my phone so so far so good i'll see you in a few hours hi loves so this is a total of seven hours of wear I'm outside it's a beautiful evening here in Colorado 
Um, but yeah, so it wore really, really well. Um, it's definitely kind of taken a little bit off around here around my nose. Again, it's not a super long wearing foundation, but I got a really great seven hours of wear. I feel like really it didn't really even move. Um, it's not one of those that I'm running to take off. So I hope that you guys try out this brand. I super, super enjoy having it in part of my arsenal. And uh, comment below if you guys have heard of this brand or you look forward to trying it. So I'll see you all in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.